I'm Jennifer from Bounce Back Generation. I want to share with you why I do the work that I do here at Bounce Back Generation. This is just one of the reasons, this particular story. When I was 14 years old, my parents were going through a really hard divorce. Um, it was very acrimonious and my brothers and I were living in different places. We weren't living at home and I was staying with different friends and I had a job. Um, I had lied about my age and gotten a job in a restaurant. And at some point um, I was out with friends and was um, kind of picked up by an older man and taken to his house. And I was assaulted when I was there. And I did not respond to that at all. I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't tell anyone what happened. Um, I just continued to, I went back to my friend's house and I slept and I got up and I went back to work. And I think it was during the summer. I don't remember going to school at that time. And one day the owners of the restaurant came to me, they were a husband and wife couple, and they asked me if I was okay. And I said, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Whatever. What's the problem? I feel fine. And they said, well, we think that something's going on with you. And I had um, been complaining about having stomach aches a lot. And uh, I would show up to work. I never missed any work, but I would show up to work and just say, wow, my stomach hurts. I can't eat anything. And they said, I, we think that maybe you're pregnant. And, you know, I was 14 years old. So they were concerned. And they took me to the emergency room. Um, and I remember they dropped me off. And I don't know what happened, but... At some point, I was sitting in a chair in front of a desk, and there was a woman with a white coat on, and she stood up, and she said something like, honey, what's the matter? And I burst into tears, and I don't know what I said to her. I don't know what happened after that. I have no memory of anything that happened after that, and the next thing I knew was I was taken to a group home uh, where I lived for a few months and I started to get therapy um, and I still never told anybody about what happened. It wasn't until I was an adult that I started to tell friends and people about it. Um, so to get back to the question, why do I do what I do? Because I know that kids and adults, we can have a lot of things happen to us and we don't always understand what's going on in our brain and our body and what we need. And I discovered it for myself really late. And in discovering it, I found out who I was and how some of these experiences um, changed me in ways that it was like I had a part of myself that I couldn't touch, that I couldn't access and get to know. And that is something that I want everyone to have. And especially someone who's 14 or 15 or 20 or 25 or 50. We all need that. So I hope that what we're doing is helping with that.